Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to use stickers, how to create them, and how to create animated stickers. As always, the full link to the tips, tricks, and tutorial series for the iPhone 15 is in the description. If you're looking to learn more, let's get started. So Apple released a new feature called stickers with the iPhone 15 and iOS 17. And this sticker feature is really unique. It's working through the messaging app here. All you have to do is create a new message or open an existing message box and tap on this plus. When you tap on this plus, you'll be able to open the stickers icon here. And this is where it's going to pull up all the stickers that you can create or that you already have created. Now, if you're watching this video, chances are you didn't create any stickers or you might have by accident. But stickers are these right here. Now you can see I have two of them, very basic, easy ones. I'm gonna show you those first and then show you how creative you can get to create animated stickers. But let's look at this first. So we tap on this sticker, it adds it in there. It's just me in front of the camera, literally as I was filming this video, and it'll send it. Now how do you create stickers and how do you create the good ones? So you tap on this plus here and it opens up all the photos you have on your iPhone. Now we'll start with a still, sticker, so we'll just add that same sticker I had. You just select it, and Apple's iPhones can actually pull the background right out of these photos. You can see it analyzing the photo. Tap Add Sticker, and there it is without the background. Now when you add it, you can rearrange, add effects, and delete. If we wanna add effects, these are the effects you have. So you can have an outline. You can use Comic, Puffy, and Shiny. So let's say we use this uh, Comic option here. We can tap Done, and now we can just add this sticker right in and send it with the comic. So that's how you create and add a basic sticker on the iPhone. Now, if you wanna create those really unique animated stickers that you saw at the intro of this video, you're gonna to wanna to use live photos. So if you don't know what live photos is, I'll show you right after I add this in and explain how it works. But basically, you're just gonna choose a photo that has live attached to it. So I believe this one does. So it's just me sitting there kind of filming. And again, Apple's system here is pulling that background right out and you can tap add sticker. As Soon as you do that, you can see it's running down there and you can add an effect to it as well. Just drag this one in, tap and hold, and then just drag it. You can see that it pulls it up there. And I just basically took a simple photo of me lifting my hand. It looks like it's something that was made for the phone to be added in. So how I created this was pretty simple. I just opened the camera app. Make sure you're on the photo section, pull up, make sure that live, I would just turn live on. So you tap on live on, you'll see it's on up there. Now, when you take your photo, for example, you're kind of moving. Live photos record about a second before and a second after of a photo, and then it'll create this little movie. So let's just say I was waving like this and I take my photo. Now, when I go to my preview, I can tap on it. To be honest, doesn't look cool here at all. But when Apple takes that, we go back to stickers here. When Apple takes that and creates that sort of animated image there, we'll select it again. It's going to pull out the background, see, just like that. I'm gonna add the sticker, right? So now it looks like, again, something you would already get in your phone, like something pre-installed, and I'm just gonna add that in there like that. And look, it looks legit. May not be the greatest, because I'm just doing this very quick, but it looks pretty legit. And these are a lot of fun. I've seen people create so unique ones where they're kind of popping up from the bottom. People are getting super creative with these stickers and you can too. Now, additionally, one thing to note here, if you tap and hold on any of the stickers, you'll bring up that bar where you can rearrange it. So if you wanna rearrange it, you can tap there and now you can just kind of move them around. So swipe up to access all, and then you can kind of tap and just move them around if you want the ones you use more on top. You also see a minus, so if you wanna remove one, you can. Then just tap away to exit. Also keep in mind that if you use any effect, so tap and hold, add an effect. If you use any effect on an animated sticker, for example, if I throw the shiny on there, you lose the animation. If you turn the live back on, it automatically goes to the original. Additionally, you can turn live off on any of these stickers from the original tab here, just tap it off. So it's up to you, but just keep that in mind. Effects don't work. I wish they did because I like that comic effect with a lot of these that I've been playing around with. Now, a quick tip when you are adding your stickers to your messages, you can use your other finger to resize it and make it bigger, turn it, whatever you'd like to do. 
place it into that photo like that. And as you can see, this one is much bigger than the one we had in before. Now, another way to add stickers to this album here is to, again, open photos. And all you have to do is select the photo you want. So let's just use this duck, for example. And all you have to do to get the options to add it as a sticker is just quickly tap and hold here. If live pops up like it did there, tap and then just kind of move around a little bit. You'll see how I can pull this out like that. Let go. It's going to analyze it with that line all the way around the duck. I can then tap add sticker and it's going to add it right in there. I can choose to add the effect, all that stuff as well. So you don't have to go back and forth through the sticker app. You can kind of work through all your photos at the same time and then go back to stickers later. Tap and add that sticker in. Now the other options you have within the stickers section here is the first tab here. And this is just the most recent stickers you've used. So you can access those right there. The second one is where you create and all of your created stickers. The third one is emojis and emojis don't really do much other than add an emoji in like that. And you send it, it's just a basic emoji. The next tab is Memojis. And if you've never created a Memoji, you should try. You'll have a plus here. You can create your Memoji. But basically, when you create one, this is what it's going to be. Pretty simple, just like that. And you can select these options as well, like that. Send it in. And you have all these different like animals and things like that. For some reason, I thought they moved. Now, for some reason, I thought some of these Memojis would have done something more active with these, but it looks like they're just standstill emojis. But hopefully Apple changes that because some of these have reactions like that they could kind of move their head. But anyway, so those are the Memoji options. And then the last one here, we're just there on the phone. So it's whatever you already had. Apple added a few, not many. They're like activity emojis or Memojis here, and they're all active like that. So these are cool. We'll just send that one in there just like that. Now, lastly, you can add stickers from apps. So you're going to tap on edit on the right side there. And this is where you can remove sticker options from your sticker library there or get stickers from the app store. Now, when you tap on that, it was supposedly going to open the app store where you can find stickers. You can look for them or just tap up here and then just type stickers for iMessage or whatever. And this is the one that I was able to find that was decent. I have no affiliation with them. But if you do decide to install it, tell them DHTV sent you. Anyway, we'll go back into our stickers and you'll see it's right there. I'm not sure why the app appeared this way. If you tap on edit again, you'll see the animal sticker and it's supposed to have that icon. And it did when I tested it just right now, for some reason it doesn't. Anyway, when you tap on it, it'll bring up those stickers that they offer. And it works the same way. You can pull up to see more. These are animals, but this has like in-app purchases. See, some are locked. And when you tap, they want you to pay, which is crazy, $4.99 for little animations like that. But whatever, that's fine. Choose it just like you would normally. You can add that in and now you have those stickers as well. Now, if you want to remove any of these apps later, you can remove fitness or the other one we just installed, which is the anim... Actually, that says Aminal stickers. I didn't even realize that's the name. That's funny. But anyway, you can remove it if you don't want it anymore, just like that. And again, you can customize this sticker app any way you want. Use the stickers you want. And what's cool here now is we use that sticker. We deleted the app, but I can still... And I can still use it just like that. As I showed you earlier, you can react to messages with your stickers just by tapping, holding, and then just dragging it over. And what's really cool, like you can keep doing this and you and your friends can keep adding more and more. Let's actually see how many it'll let me add before it says no. Yeah, so the original sticker and three stickers on top. But that's how you use stickers with iPhone 15 Pro Max or older that has iOS 17. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. I'm happy to help you out. And like I mentioned earlier, the full link to the iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorial series is in the description so you can get the most out of your iPhones. And if you like this tutorial and it was useful for you, hit that like button. It helps me out, helps the channel out. Also consider subscribing if you want want to be updated when I post new videos and click the bell notification box so it'll notify you on your phone whenever I post a new video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.